Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm going to show you how to use Puppet 3D. So to begin with, I'm going to explain to you the three ways you can use Puppet 3D. So one way is um, if you've got a character like a humanoid, which already has animations or is already rigged, you can create a rig very quickly just by uh, taking it. Uh, let's just create a light. And if you just select it, you can um, click Create Mod Rig, and it immediately creates a rig for you. So um, rigs are really useful because they sort of make animating much much more easy um and so this is this this is uh, this is a rig you'll be able to use to sort of animate it or um, or um, even edit animations you already got um that's that's the quick, quickest thing to use um but say you've got a character which hasn't got a rig at all um it's just a, a mesh see like this one so in this the, with this you can take you can take him and you can use um the auto rigs which um feature to create a rig for him so if we just uh, go to wireframe and go make guides and you can just move these little controls to the uh, points um, on the character you see they um, they auto snap to the center of the model which makes it easy to quickly set them up also they um, they also mirror as you can see so it's really like quick and easy uh, so just put them into the right place where the bones want to be and then you just click auto rig and it will um, create the skeletal structure and skin it to the character. And you can see, um, so if you just, uh, if I just turn off the bones, you can see it's a nice, like, rigged character. Um, the next um, the next way you can use Puppet 3D is um, a manual rigging. So you can rig absolutely anything, um, say, for example, this tree. Um, so this tree, um, let's say what we're going to do is uh, create sort of a bone structure for him. Let's just um, break prefab instance. Um, so we're going to go create spline tool and, and create create these controls. They they create a, they create a spline of bones along there. Uh, we can actually just create bones like manually. You see, here they, it snaps to the center of the mesh. It's um, sort of projected projects to the center of it. Um, you can kind of just kind of create bones everywhere. So um, and then we can take these bones. And we can just um, select them all and the um, mesh, and we can go to skinning, and then we can choose between voxel and closest point skinning, and then um, you see it comes out uh, skin to the um, to the controls or to the bones. So uh, you can pretty much rig up anything. It could be a character, it could be um, a prop, whatever you want. And so those those are the three ways. 